I have thousands of notes in Evernote, and I rely on a combination of tags, notebooks, and the search feature when I need to find something that I've added a few weeks, months, or years before. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, and today we look at sorting out notes in Evernote. Hey, if you like Evernote, if you like these kinds of videos, do me and you a favor and subscribe by hitting that button below. I post regular videos with Evernote tips and tricks, plus lots of other things you might find interesting, and I don't want you to miss any of them. Okay, today's question actually comes from a viewer. Robert writes, Hi Dave, how can you sort notes in a specific order? So not sorting on a title, but as an example, numbers. I can't manage it. Well, Robert, I have a couple of ways that you might want to try organizing your notes. Now, I imagine what Robert really wants to do is to be able to drag and drop notes into whatever order he sees fit. There are some limitations to doing this, but there also are some good workarounds. Let me show you what I mean. All right, I'm in my Evernote demo account right now, and I want to show you what you can do first of all if you're running Mac and Windows. So, uh, do you see this uh, uh, a down arrow in uh, in your notebook? So this happens to be my uh, just a fake client F notebook, and I have a down arrow. If you click on that arrow, that will give you a, a number of sorting options that you can do including sorting them by title uh, alphabetically and you can do it reverse order if you'd like um, or you can you know you can sort them in that way so that's alphabetical you could click on this button you can also sort them by the date uh, updated the last time you did anything to that note or the date that it was created so that's the easiest way of basically uh, sorting them. I, I tend to like to do alphabetical, but you may have a different approach. But here's the way I do it. Let's say I have a notebook for each of my clients, in this case, Client F. When I finish meeting, I title my uh, meeting summary with a date, something like this. And then I will put... Uh, the fact that this is a meeting with Joe. So you see what I've done here with the date. I've done the year, I've done the month, and I have done the date. Now, automatically, it is going to sort all of my notes by date. So if I go to my client notebook, uh, I simply can say, all right, let's take a look at the most recent meeting that I've had with Joe. Uh, Joe is client F in this case, and I can see the date. Uh, I could have uh, I could have said uh, you know that this was our 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 um, planning meeting whatever you'd like to whatever you'd like to call it but the the numerics are really what I think keeps me very well organized because I know which was the most recent note so let's get rid of this uh, client note here for a second. Let's say that the range of my notes have to do with particular projects that I'm working on for client F. And as you can see, they're all alphabetized. But, you know, it is possible that I always want to make sure that the finance note always remains on top. I mean, if I create a new note here, and uh, let's say uh, it is uh, Apple Computer, well, now, of course, what happened is because we're in alphabetized mode, uh, Apple computer will precede the note of finances. But I don't like it that way. I want finances to always remain on top. I have a couple of choices here. I go to the finance note, and one of the things I can do is I can put an asterisk or another symbol, and you see what automatically happened. That, mo that note moved to the top because the asterisk preceded the A in Apple. Uh, if you have a series of notes that you want to organize in a very specific way and you don't want to just you know use a series of asterisks, you can also number them. So let's make finances number two and Apple computer number three and um, let's say we want our inventory to always be the number one note that appears in this notebook. 
Now, simply uh, because of the numerics, it's gone out of alphabetical order and will always keep the notes on top. Now, before you get carried away with all of these uh, numbering systems, I, I, I would suggest that you don't do maybe, you know, but more than three or possibly five of, of these uh, numerics because, you know, it's just going to go crazy after a while. And remember, the search feature is really your best way of finding a note again. A final point. When you title your notes, be very descriptive. You'll thank yourself as you do a search or scan for your notes later. For example, when I keep track of, let's say, maintenance records for my cars, I don't just label a note, oil change. I'm more specific, like Ford Explorer dash oil change dash 2002 space 12 or 2022 space 12 dash Ford Explorer oil change. You kind of get what I'm seeing here. Also, be specific and consistent when you are labeling your notes. For example, if I didn't put Ford Explorer in the title, I might be confused as to which car got the oil change last December. Hey, if you have a question for me about Evernote and how to use it, uh, just post your question below. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you'd like to ask something more specific, just send me an email, daveedwards at outlook.com. And if you want to learn more about how best to use Evernote, from sharing tags and notebooks to stacks and searches, there's a lot of tricks that I share in my online course, Evernote for Beginners. Actually, my course will benefit anyone who wants to get most out of this app. I'll show you my entire system within Evernote and give you ideas on how you may want to set it up and use it yourself. Just check out my course, Evernote for Beginners. Go to DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses. I'm Dave Edwards. Stay productive.